All right, let's get to Deuteronomy chapter 31, verse 6. And I want to deal with this concept. God's never going to leave me. God is never going to leave me. I want you to go verse 6. Listen to this. Be strong and of good courage. Do not fear nor be afraid of them. For the Lord your God is the one that goes with you. He will not leave you nor forsake you. Now I want you to understand something. This is very important that we get this. God is promising that he's never going to leave and never going to forsake um, any of the guys that he sends forth, that goes forth. That is a promise that was given to Israel when they're busy moving. That same thing sticks with us today as Christians in the New Testament. Why? Because God says that he'll stick closer than a brother. He will never leave us nor forsake us. But I want you to see something very significant. He says, I will never leave you when you are going. In other words, there is a process that we actually have to go and do something. We actually have to be active. And I need you to understand this because a lot of Christians have got this concept. God is only going to do something with me doing nothing. I want you to know this is not a nothing situation. This is an active, proactive, moving forward, taking ground, going into where it's dark, bringing the light and doing what God has called us to do. Now, what is the biggest thing that God has called us to do? Lead people to the Lord. Okay, that's the number one thing that we should be doing as Christians. All right, but outside of that, what are we supposed to be doing? We are supposed to be taking territory. What naturally? No, spiritually. We are supposed to be restricting the evil one. Wherever you walk, release peace. Wherever you go, speak life. All these things count an important and major role in our Christian life. God says, wherever you go, I'm not going to leave you nor forsake you. I am with you. Be of good cheer. Do not be afraid. And so as we go through our Christian walk, I want you to understand that we cannot afford to sit back anymore. Our nation needs you. Listen carefully. Our nation needs you. Why do we say that? Because the Bible is very clear about this. All right. That lawlessness is going to abound. See, so many people get upset and they go, yeah, we can't believe how, how lawlessness has come about. Well, the Bible is very clear as you get near the end time, lawlessness is going to get stronger. But the Bible also says that the power of God is going to flow in the church. So as the church starts doing what they meant to do, the power of God is going to be seen in a greater way. And so I want us to understand that God is busy. God is busy. God loves us and God wants to do something in and through the saints. So our nation needs you as a Christian to start releasing the power that you've got inside of you. And wherever you go, speak life, speak life. Speak peace. All right, I want to deal with this in the next uh, uh, next few minutes. But I want you to know that we are going into once again another round where the church has got to keep the atmosphere open. We have got to pray. And so this morning when we come around the table, let us celebrate the fact that Jesus Christ is right there with us. That Jesus Christ is needing his army, the body of Christ, to stand up. And to go and do what he has called us to do in Jesus' name. On the night that Jesus was betrayed, he took bread and broke it. He said, this is my body that was broken for you. Take in remembrance of me. He took the cup. He said, this is my blood that was shed for you. Take in remembrance of me. The body of Christ was broken for our physical and emotional healing. The blood of Christ was shed for our salvation, protection and provision. And so this morning when we take communion, let us celebrate the fact that Jesus Christ loves us. Jesus Christ cares for us. Jesus Christ wants to do something for us. And so when we take communion, let us celebrate the biggest one. Jesus is not leaving us. He's right there with us. Wherever we go, we release the word of God. Angels are released in Jesus name. Lord, we come before you this morning. 
We ask you please to forgive us of any wrongdoing, any wrong thought, action, motive, intention, and motive. Lord, I ask you please to wash us clean as snow. Father, we thank you, Lord, that we stand white and holy and, and Lord, righteous before you this morning. Lord, I thank you for paying the price. Lord, I thank you that you're never going to leave us nor forsake us. Lord, that the power of God is flowing through the church. Lord, I pray right now that we are going to take up our responsibility and do what you're calling us to do in Jesus' name. Lord, I thank you right now in the mighty name of Jesus that we are not going to get slack, but Lord, that we are going to realize that you are with us and that the Holy Spirit dwells inside of us. And Lord, I thank you for the power that you have given the church because of the price that you paid in Jesus' mighty name. And everybody said, Amen and Amen. Let's partake together. Lord, we thank you for a physical healing in Jesus' name. Lord, we thank you that the dunamis power of God flow through our, our mortal bodies. Lord, I thank you that we are healed by the power of God. And Lord, right now that every single symptom bow its knee. Lord, I thank you that every sign of sickness go right now in Jesus' name. I thank you, Lord, for your word. And I thank you, Lord, for your promises. And Lord, right now, we thank you that we walk in divine health because by your stripes we were healed. In Jesus' mighty name. And everybody said, Amen and Amen. Well, saints, I'm so excited this morning because I want to tell you that it's one more day and we've hit 500 communions. All right? Please join us tomorrow. Spread the word. 500 communions tomorrow. All right, even if you have to watch it late, I understand. But let me tell you, tomorrow is going to be an awesome day. We are going to celebrate God's goodness in our lives. But I want to let you know, all right, the next while is some things that are coming up in our nation again. And we are going to call you to pray again. I want to thank every single person who was able to pray over the uh, situation um, in the tell last week, all right, I want you to know that it went peaceful and that there were no major issues. I want to just thank you for standing in the gap, just praying. I want to thank even those pastors who, uh, who were able to sit down and have meetings before even the rally with the leaders and, and made some sort of agreements. I want to just say thank you to everybody who was involved, all right, to come and bring peace into our nation in Jesus' name. But there are some things that are brewing again. And so we need to be ready and we need to be active. And when we ask you to pray, please pray. All right, God has promised that we will be able to see a change. We'll be able to get things turned around if the church of Jesus Christ prays. Okay, so I need you to understand that this is very important. We need to know that what God is doing, He's going to do with a specific plan and a purpose in mind. And I'm telling you now, we need to pray. We need to stand in the gap and go and do what God has called us to do. All right, if we pray, I really believe that the power of God is going to be seen in our nation like never before. A lot is going to be reversed. A lot is going to be turned around. But it's the responsibility is on the church. The responsibility is on every single Christian. And so I'm going to ask you, please, when we give you the details and we say, please pray, I need you to report for duty and go and do it. The other thing is this. Please, if everybody can, please go and look again on our app. Oh, uh, uh, not our app, sorry. On our Facebook page, on our website, I'll get it. On our website, a prayingessay.co.za. Please, I know lots couldn't book in their times. There was something wrong with our site. We managed to find it and fix it. Everybody can now book in. Okay, go book your hour slot that you are going to pray so that we can make sure that the nation is covered 24-7, that everybody's praying somewhere for our nation. 
All right, so I need you please to go and book your slot. Okay, so uh, somebody put it up there, a prayingsa.co.za, and that's where we need to go. So please make sure that you are ready. I just want to just say, I want to just commend, I just saw somebody now, they said they've done 499 communions and not missed one. Not missed one communion. All right, it's going to be interesting to see tomorrow who can honestly, before God, say that you've hit 500 communions without missing one. I'm telling you, that's going to be an accomplishment. Um, I must say that there's nobody in my household that's managed to do that, not even the dogs. Okay, but I wanted to see, uh, we'll discuss that tomorrow. But the issue is this, we need to pray. We need to stand in the gap and we need to be ready for what God has in Jesus name. All right, let's pray this together this morning. Lord, we come before you this morning. Lord, we pray for our families. Lord, we thank you right now in the name of Jesus that you are going to work in our families in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray for every family. I pray that the household will be strong. Lord, that they will be solid in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray your blessing. And Lord, I thank you right now in the mighty name of Jesus for the absolute moving of your spirit in our families in Jesus' name. Lord, we pray right now for a protection and a bloodline around them. Lord, I pray for every single person who is not born again. Lord, we thank you that we can lift them up this morning and we thank you that you are drawing them and that they will serve you in Jesus' name. Father, we pray for any relationships that are strained. We release your blessing. We release your peace in Jesus' name. Father, we thank you that you are going to move by your spirit in each one of our lives in Jesus' name, in a mighty way, that as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. As for me and my house, we will be blessed because we obey the principles in Jesus' mighty name. And everybody said, Amen and Amen. Lord, right now, we pray against this COVID virus. We command it to die, dissipate, and leave our nation. Lord, we thank you that you are in control, that you love us so much. And Lord, we pray a supernatural release of your power and blessing in Jesus' name. Father, we thank you right now that you're going to do a supernatural work by your spirit over each and every life in Jesus' name. And Lord, that this COVID virus leave our nation, it dissipate and never to be seen again. Every curve to come down. Lord, I pray for every single person who is infected by COVID. We release a supernatural healing upon their bodies. We thank you, Lord, that they are healed in Jesus' name. Lord, we release the power of God and the blessing of the Lord over each and every one in Jesus' mighty name. And everybody said, Amen and Amen. Well, folks, I want to bless you this morning. I want to ask you, go out and release blessing, release peace, and know that this month, for the rest of this month, there's going to be prayer that is needed. We are going to have to pray. We are going to have to ask God to forgive us of anything that we have done wrong. And we are going to have to ask God to move by His Spirit and have mercy on our land in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, let's get to our declaration. In Jesus' name, I declare by faith that I walk in divine favor. I have preferential treatment. I have supernatural increase. I have increased assets. I have great victories. I have recognition. I have prominence. I have petitions granted. I have policies and rules changed. Battles won that I, have, uh, that I did not have to fight. All because of the blessing and the favor of God on my life. So saints, I want to declare to you, go out with might, go out with valor, and release the power of God wherever you go. So from my side, God bless you. Have a wonderful day.